Welcome back. So it's time to install a tool that we can work with when we want to write C Sharp code. And I must say, if we want to work with C Sharp, we should use Visual Studio. So now you have to install and download Visual Studio. Maybe the other way around. So let's download it first. You have three choices. Visual Studio Code is a cross-platform one. It doesn't have a lot of features, but it works. So if you don't want to, like I did, on my Mac, add a Windows system and then install Visual Studio, you can take Visual Studio Code. But I have to say, I'm going to use one of these two. The community one, I encourage you to use that if you have a Windows machine. And if you have a Mac, I still encourage you to use that one if you have a virtual reality, uh, sorry, a virtual environment of some kind that can run Windows for you. So I'm going to download the community one. There's also the enterprise one. That's the one I'm going to show you some of the extended features in later on, not now. So download the community one here and um, it'll give you a very simple file. It'll tell you you're awesome. I'm not lying. Microsoft thinks you're awesome. Um, it'll pop up in a second probably and say you are awesome. I'll run this and um, it'll pop up with an installer. Now I already installed this on my machine so I'll just try and explain to you what it's all about. Right now it's going to try and update it but when you do the installation the first time you'll just take the default settings. There's nothing there. You'll just default, default, default all the way through and when you're done installing um, It'll pop up and tell you, congratulations, you just installed Visual Studio. So I'll skip to the end of this installation just to show you. I don't want to uninstall it because it takes so long time. You have to prepare yourself for 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, maybe more. So get some coffee or a beer or whatever you drink and just sit down and relax. I'll skip to the end of the installation and get back to you. <clears throat> so now the setup is complete and we can launch the tool. Let's just give it a second and it's starting up Visual Studio for the first time. We don't want to sign in, don't have to do that. Um, I'll just keep the general look and feel, basic stuff, start Visual Studio, let it just finish up. The first time it's really slow at starting as well. Give it time, give it time. There's so many things you're getting from Visual Studio, you can't live without it if you want to do proper C sharp code and you want to write. Um, some code fast and effectively. So give it a few minutes. So it started up Visual Studio and we're ready to work finally. That's a huge installation. It takes too much time, but we'll, I'll show you all the tools you get in the next videos and all the things that we get from this. So it's worth waiting for, but that's all I wanted for this video. So see you next time where we start working with Visual Studio and I'll explain you more what it's all about. See you next time.